Hello and welcome to Butterfly Networking. We're here today to learn about using Facebook friend suggestions. I was working with a client the other night and because she's brand spanking new to, to Facebook, we got to start right at the very beginning. And we were letting Facebook suggest friends for her but I want to make this video so that she can should she forget which I doubt she will but we'll just make sure because we like to make sure we over deliver to our clients what you want to do is you want to allow Facebook to to pardon me you want to take advantage of Facebook suggesting all of the the friends for you because it will be based on who you're following or who you are friends with pardon me I'm talking Twitter aren't I it'll be based on who you are friends with and who they are friends with and they're believing that maybe you know the friends of friends I am here right now on Don Teets's profile and right here on the right we have suggestions these are the friend suggestions and right now you see Jean Bloomstein who's a friend of Sam Crowley now I know that Donald Teets knows Sam Crowley he's met him a couple of times and what we're gonna do is we are definitely gonna add Jean as a friend but what we want to do is click right here on see all and that way you can take a look at all of them all at once see who face Facebook is suggesting you be as friends as you can see there's quite a few here now my suggestion when you are building on Facebook is that you don't follow people who don't have a picture you never know who they are or what they are and once they get a picture great you can follow them but for now let them be so I see a couple of people on here that I know Don Teets knows for now we're going to go to Jeannie Blumstein we're gonna click on her name and we're gonna go over to her account and take a look and she is a mower creator creative artwanted.com Hmm. looks interesting oh she only has two friends Sam Crowley and another Sam all right well we'll see what happens we're gonna click to add a friend and I don't know if Don Teets has any lists he doesn't okay so we're not going to add any for him because we don't know but I would suggest that you always put people in a list add a personal message so hi Jean looks like you're at a great car rally of some sort there Sorry, I can't type and talk at the same time. What we're doing here is we are, are letting Jean know just how we know Sam. If, this way she can decide yes or no whether or not she's going to accept the friend request. And we're going to send the friend request. Now I recommend that you always add a personal message when you are adding friends sometimes if it's a real close friend of yours and and they know it's coming and things like that you wouldn't necessarily want to or have to but 
in a case like this where we don't know Gene, but we do know Sam, and Sam's a great guy, so if he's friends with Jean, she's got to be great too. Now we're going to go back to the home page for Don Teets. And it's taken a little while. And just want to show you one more little shortcut. If you come over here onto the left and you click on friends, pardon me, it's not a shortcut, the other one's the shortcut. It's the long way. And then find friends. And if you scroll down, you will see that the friend suggestions are here as well. So there's two ways you can do it. You can go on the left to your friends and find friends, or you can go on to the right where it says suggestions and see all. Happy, happy days finding your friends on Facebook. And we look forward to seeing you over on butterflynetworking.com and signing up for the 30 days of free tips and techniques. Have fun with your Facebook. Remember, it's all about the relationships. And we look forward to seeing you over on the other side.